Hi, and uh, welcome to this video on how to do streams in AL Code with Business Central. Hey, I'm Eric, and uh, in this video, I'm gonna try to show you guys how to use streams. Uh, I asked in the last video if somebody wanted to know something about streams, and a lot of you did. So uh, this is streams for beginners. This is the, there, there might be another video on, on later on, but let's start with the basics. Let's talk about for me what streams actually are. I did a like one slide PowerPoint here. Um, so streams, you can compare a stream with a pipe and a, a one direct directional a pipe. So either the pipe is designed for the, for the water to flow in one direction or the pipe is designed for the water to flow in the other direction. Um, one very important thing about, and I think a lot of confusion comes from this, is that the data is not sitting or living, existing inside the stream. The data is sitting somewhere else in storage. The storage might be a blob field as we're gonna use in this video, or a temp blob or a, a .NET construct or something external um, or a upload buffer or stuff like that. So a stream is not does not have any storage or memory. The stream is just a connection to storage. The, the third part we have in this is a pump. So in most cases, the pump, if, if you connect one storage with one consumer or producer, the pump is built into the consumer or the producer. But if you're connecting two streams, two storage, with an in-stream and an out-stream, you need a pump to move the data. And the pump is actually a function called copy stream. Uh, we're gonna use that. Uh, I think we're gonna use that. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we're going, we are gonna use that. So let's get into this. And uh, what I have here uh, somewhere is our project from last, uh, just a copy of it. So we had a text field on, on the item and we had some functions to handle the HTML control. Um, so the first thing we want to do is let's just add a, um, let add a, a blob field. Description blob, that's a blob field. We'll have a caption that doesn't really matter. Description blob because we're never showing the field directly, so we don't have any use for a caption and data classification. Let's get rid of the old field so we'll get compiler errors where we used to use that. We'll go to our page extension. We can see that we use that in a couple of places. So the first one is that we want to load the data into our HTML control. So now we want to load from the blob instead. So let's get rid of all this. Um, and to load from a blob, get data out of a blob, we use an in stream. If this is confusing, I, I did a whole video on, uh, on in, out, read, write, confusing directions. You can go check that out. Uh, um, but anyway, in this case, when we're working with blob, if we want to read the data from a blob, we use an in stream. Um, and in order to prepare, so a blob is a special field type. So a blob is a field type where we need to use the cal field functionality um, description blob um, to get load, the data loaded into it. So when you get a record, even though the record might have one or more blob fields, the, it's kind of a lazy loading. So there's no data in them. Then you need to calc field the the blob fields to actually get a value. So if you have megabytes upon megabytes of data in a blob field, and you're only actually retrieving it if you need to. Um, so they're not bogging down your um, your performance. So now we have the blob field and it's calculated, so we need to create the stream. So we created a variable, now we're connecting. So the create in stream, create out stream function of taking that storage and connecting the pipe. Um, and then there's, there's two ways of operating a pipe. Either we connect it to a pump of some sort, 
or we use a built-in function. In this case, there is a, a built-in pump called read. Uh, actually, there's two of them. So read is a binary uh, version and read text is a text-based version. And, and we're going to use the text-based version here. And for that, we need a text variable. Um, so we'll add that. There we go. And then we just need to load our HTML control with that text. Um, we could talk about if you if you guys wanna want a video on how to work with binary data inside Business Central. Uh, remember to subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments below if uh, if that's something you want to see. Um, so the other place we got an error now is when we stored the data back out of the HTML control. So in this case. We're going to use a different variable. You guessed it. We're now we're going to use the outstream, meaning that we want to put data into the blob. Sorry, those direction things are just confusing. Um, we'll just calc field the, the, the blob again. Um, and then we will create an outstream this time. And the outstream will use the built-in pump called write text and the text we're going to write into the blob field is the text we got out of the HTML control. So one line became three and one line became three or four again. So so it, it's a pretty minor change in order to switch this from from just a text field to actually uh, to a blob field. The advantage of the blob is of course that the size doesn't matter here. Uh, there's all the room you want in a blob field. Uh, so let's test this out. This should go into a blob field. And I will not try to type any more country names. Smiley. We will navigate quickly to the next. Navigate back. And we got that. This should go into the blob field. There we go. Um, okay, so that works. Let, let's make this a bit more sophisticated. Let's say that we have, um, that we want to, we, we want to be able to import and export. So let's go to, to actions. And uh, we will just add these as the last in processing because might as well. So let's create a action import text. Um, caption import text, uh, application area, we still need that all. And then a on action trigger. So let's talk for a minute about importing. So, so there's a function called upload into stream. And that takes a whole bunch of parameters. Um, so we can see that it, it needs a var file name and a var in stream. So let's create those. File name, text, and in stream. There's an in stream. And then it needs some fields that are really not used anymore. They were used in a Windows client. So folder and dialogues and filters, and we don't care. So just we need to add the file name and the in stream. And if that is well, then begin. So, so this is a good moment to talk about the storage. So if we have a function called upload into stream, we get a stream. So we get a pipe. What storage is that pipe connected to? That pipe is connected to an external of AL 
buffer of what has been uploaded. So now it sits somewhere in memory on the service tier and we get a pipe into that. Um, but we want to put it into our dear blob field. So let's just calculate that so we're sure that's good. Um, and to put data into our blob field, we just learned moments ago that we need to do that with an outstream. So let's create an outstream. And now we're in that exact situation where we got two pipes. One that will give us data because that's connected to the external buffer and one that will retrieve data, you know, accept data, and that's connected into our block field. So now we need the pump and the pump is called copy stream. And the parameters, the order of the parameters here are out comma in. Um, sometimes you, you could imagine us writing out stream equal in stream. Um, that's typically how I, I think of the order. Um, I don't know if it makes sense, but uh, it, it does to me. So after we load the data into the, the block field, we need to modify the record. Um, and then, so now we have loaded the data into the stream, uh, to the block field, that's good, but we're still showing something else on screen. So we simply need the, um, the HTML control to repopulate with the new value. And we do that just by calling the init and that will call the on after init that will load the data from the block field again. Check the other video if you want to know how that's all connected. Um, and let's do one more action. Now we're on a roll here. So let's do a export. Uh, what do you call import text? Let's call this export text. Caption equal export text. Application area. Um, and a trigger. And now we need to use the command download from stream. Let's see what parameters that takes. It takes an in stream. It takes a dialog. We don't care about that right now. A folder, a to filter. Don't care about that. And a file name. You can actually, you see the, so, so, so the file name, let's add those variables. Um, an in stream. It's an in stream and the file name is a text. Um, so again, we need to calculate the, uh, the blob field. Um, and then we need to get the data from a blob and we know that we get the data from an in stream. So that's easy. So now you see the connection is here. So, so we have the storage of the blob. We connect that pipe and then download from stream just has a built in pump. So we just need to give it a stream that it can pump from. So, that's easy. The only thing we, we need to do is probably create a file name that makes sense. The file name could be rec.description plus uh, comma HTML. There we go. As simple as that. So let's try it out. We deploy, compile. Uh, so let's try to do the import text to begin with. Let's see if I got a file somewhere that makes sense. Projects, YouTube, and I did prepare this. So I do have a file here. We upload it. Bang. This is a bold statement. So we got that out of the, uh, the text file. We can try to hit edit because now we're still in read-only mode. Uh, some more stuff added. And then we can go and say, uh, export text. 
and we got an Athens desk too. And if we open that, we that's hard to read, but we can make it bigger. So we got a file with some more stuff added. So that's actually four ways of, uh, of, of using a blob field. So we put some text in it uh, and stored it. We retrieved text from it. We uploaded data to Business Central and stored it, and we downloaded the data from uh, from the blob field. And we use streams all the time. So before I end this, remember this. Well, let me switch over to it. Remember this chart. Three components. We got storage. We got streams to connect it, and we got pumps. The pumps might be built into functions, or you have to use the copy stream to pump between them in and out. But that's how to do streams. Remember to uh, please subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments below if you want to know more about streams, if you want to have other things that you would like me to do video, videos on. Um, then until next time, I'll see you. Have a wonderful day.